my channel, it's Caitlin here and today I'm going to be doing a makeup tutorial for you. I originally set out to do a really kind of crisp, cut crease, sleek makeup tutorial and it's ended up super smoky with a really dark lash line which I'm really enjoying. Also this video is kind of exciting because I have used all drugstore products which I do know that you guys enjoy when I use all drugstore products because they're just a lot more affordable. I hope you enjoy this makeup look. If you do then feel free to give it a thumbs up and subscribe down below as well because that would make me really happy. And if you would like to see how I got this makeup look, then just keep on watching. So I'm going to start off with eyes because I don't want to mess up my foundation. So, so I'm just going to be priming with a little bit of concealer. I think I need a mirror. So I'm just going to pop some concealer on there. This one is a concealer by Lottie. And then just blend that out. Beauty Blender just takes so much quicker. So for eyes today I'm going to be using this palette here. This is the Neutrals V's Neutrals palette by Revolution. And this is what it looks like inside. It's kind of a dupe for the Anastasia Modern Renaissance palette um, or the Naked 3. So I'm going to be using this today and I love these shades. So, so I'm going to start off by using this top shade here to set our base and concealer. And I like to just use a big fluffy brush. This is a concealer brush. A concealer brush? This is a contour brush from Real Techniques, but I just like to use it to set eyeshadow because it takes two seconds. So for a transition shade, I'm going to be taking a mixture of these two shadows here, mixing them together and using them on my crease. So now I'm just going to be taking this shade here to darken up our crease area. And I'm going to take this quite far down because I'm able to get rid of the fallout with a makeup wipe later on. So don't worry too much about having it all the way down the side of your face. So now I'm just going to take this end shade here and use this to really darken up our crease area. And then just going back in and make sure everything is blended all the way up. And just keep going back in with your previous lighter shades to help blend this right up to the top. And then I'm going to be using this highlighting palette by Sleek and use a combination of this cream shade here and the gold highlighting shade on the inner corner of my eye. I've moved further back so you can see me a little bit more when I do my face makeup. So I'm just going to quickly grab a makeup wipe and wipe off a clean line where our eyeshadow was fallen down and then I'll continue on with my face. What I like to do is stick my finger kind of through so I've got my finger underneath the makeup wipe and then I can get a really precise line. So to start off with our face, I'm going to be using the Maybelline Baby Skin Primer and just popping this on my face to get us ready for foundation. So the foundation today which I'm going to be using is the Bourjois Healthy Mix Foundation. This is their more medium coverage foundation. They do a slightly lighter one as well. But I'm going to be using this one today since I'm doing a more party look. Now for concealer, I'm going to be using the Lottie Got It Cover Concealer in the shade Shell. So 
now we're going to set all this concealer and foundation with the MUA Pro Base Satin Matte Powder. And I'm going to use this underneath my eyes and also to set the rest of my face as well. So I'm just going to press in the powder to my concealer first so I can make sure that that's really set in place. And then with the more fluffier brush, I'm just going to set the rest of my face as well with that. So now I'm going to be using this little guy here, which I've been using all throughout the video for a mirror. This is by e.l.f. and it is their duo. So you've got a bronzer and a blusher here. And I'm going to be using both of those today for my bronzer and my blusher. And then a little bit of blusher as well. So for highlight today I'm going to be using a product by MUA. This is their Undress Your Skin highlighter in the shade Iridescent Gold and I'm going to be using this as a highlighter and also I'm going to be putting this on my brow bone as well. Okay, so now that I have done my face, I just need to do my eyebrows. So the product which I'm going to be using for my eyebrows today is by Rimmel. This is the Brow This Way little brow like duo. It's honestly not my favourite. I do much prefer using my classic Anastasia Dip Brow. But because I'm keeping it all drugstore today, I'm going to be using this one here, which is still a really good product, but just not my favourite. Brows literally took me about five years to do, but they're done now, so yay. So I now need to go back and finish off my eyes. So I'm firstly just going to take a combination of the two transition shades and run them along my lower lash line to get us started first of all. So I'm just taking them and running them along my lower lash line. Okay, and now I'm going to go in with the darker shade and basically just repeating what I did on my top lash line. So I'm going to take this shade here and run that again all the way across my lower lash line. And then finally I'm going to be taking the dark shade at the very end here and doing a line on my lower lash line. I think I'm going to do quite a heavy lower lash line darkness. Does that make sense? I think I'm going to make my lower lash line quite dark because I'm feeling inspired by Jamie Genevieve. The mascara which I'm going to be using is the Big Eyes Mascara by Maybelline. I've done my eyelashes, I actually changed and instead of doing the lengthening ones, which were 116, I changed to volume 100. These are the ones which I have on my eyes right now. So, I'm now going to move on and do my lipstick. So, I'm now going to finish off with lips and I have two drugstore products here which I'm going to be using. The first one is a lipstick by Maybelline. This is the 630 Velvet Bay shade and it's kind of just like a nudie brown colour. So I'm going to use this one first. And then on top of that I'm going to be using the NYX Butter Gloss in the shade Ginger Snap which is like a kind of brownie 
lip gloss so it makes this lip colour look just a little bit more on the brown side than the purpley nude side. finished makeup look. I really hope that you like the makeup look and you also enjoyed this video as well. If you did enjoy this video then please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe down below if you are new to my channel. I upload every Tuesday and Friday so subscribe so you don't miss out and I will see you soon in my next video. Bye guys! <laughs>